Hey everyone. As I mentioned in the last video, a lot of mess going on here, leaking pretty much everything. Oil all, all over the bottom. You can check the other video out if you want to see more detail on that. First thing we're going to do here is go ahead and swap out the valve cover gaskets, which are definitely leaking. So knock those out. Got a Felpro full engine gasket kit. We'll start with those and then see where that gets us. Also noticed when I was below the car, a lot of that black spray paint was bubbling up from what appears to be some brake fluid leaking down there. I don't know if that's old or a continuous leak or whatever, but we'll also investigate that. Each valve cover gasket's held down by four three-eighths bolts on each side. Pretty straightforward. Just back all four out and you should be able to remove them without having to take anything else out. I do remove the air cleaner cover as it makes it a little easier, but you could probably get away without even doing that. All right, so I got the valve covers off on both sides. Nothing too concerning, but I'm certain these are just need to be replaced. Valve covers look okay. A little dirty on the inside around the edges there, but not a big deal. I'll maybe clean these up a little bit at some point, but for now, I'll just get the contact area clean. Put these the new ones back in, tighten them down, and hope we resolve at least one of the leaks here. All right, with both mating surfaces clean, go ahead and place the new valve cover gaskets in place and put the valve covers over top. The tricky part here is to line up all of the holes with the bolts so that you can tighten it in. I get everything fairly close to tight in position and then once everything is, is in place, come back around and hand tighten everything in a crisscross pattern, get everything snug, and then you're good to go. Alright, there we have it. Back on with the new ones. You gotta hand torque these kind of by feel. I'll run the motor a few times, check again after a few heat cycles, make sure we have no more leaks, and go from there and see what, what's next on the cleaning block.